Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime, and this is going to be a quick one. What We've got some really awesome updates on the upcoming Orange Pi Neo. Now, you might be familiar with this, you might not, but basically what we're getting here is a Ryzen-powered handheld with a 7-inch display, and out of the box, this is going to be running Manjaro Linux. So it's a new Linux-powered handheld hit in the market to kind of compete with the others. And recently, Orange Pi and Manjaro announced pricing on this and different models that they're going to be offering. Basically, they've got two different CPU SKUs coming in with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD, but we can always upgrade that SSD later on down the road. It's going to have a 50 watt hour battery, and one of the main things that I'm really interested in right here is Manjaro Gaming Edition, the operating system that's going to come pre-installed. Now, hopefully Manjaro does release an image for this so we can install it on many PCs, handhelds, or even just large desktop PCs. They're putting a lot of work into this, making it work very well on the Ryzen 7 7840U and even the Ryzen 7 8840U. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk about here was pricing because it was recently announced. And again, they're offering two different CPU models for the Orange Pi Neo. The 7840U coming in at $499 and the 8840U coming in at $599. Very, very competitive pricing. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that they're able to get it down this low. And this was what they announced. Of course, when it goes to retail, depending on who gets their hands on it, this could be inflated by a bit. But I mean, right now, this is looking like some really competitive pricing when you compare other handhelds on the market with similar specs. I mean, 499, 7840U, 512 gigabyte SSD, and 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Really nice in a seven inch handheld. The fact that we do get dual track pads with this is awesome. Forking up an extra 100 bucks, you can opt for that 8840U. And we have seen this thing in the wild running. I guess they've got a few prototypes that they've been, you know, carrying around to different conventions and things like that. Full TDP control is ready to go using Open Gamepad UI. They also posted a video of some gyro control gameplay here with a portal. Definitely looks pretty cool. I know it's a lower res, but this is all I could get my hands on. So far, not looking too bad. And right now, we do have basically all the information we need to know, aside from some of the features coming to Manjaro Gaming Edition. Over on their website, I'll leave a link for this in the description. You can find out everything about the unit itself. Obviously, we're getting a 7-inch display, and this has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10, up to 120 hertz. So this is going to be great for playing those indie games at higher frame rates. The SSD is user upgradable. Behind the face buttons and the D-pad, they will be using conductive pads instead of dome switches or micro switches, so we should get a really good feeling controller system. And taking a look at their spec sheet over on the website, it does look like they may be offering a 32 gigabyte model, but both will be running LP DDR5 at 6400 megatransfers per second, running in dual channel. PCIe 4.0 NVMe. It's a 2280 drive, so upgrading that storage is going to be a lot cheaper than upgrading something like the Steam Deck with those smaller 2230s. 50 watt hour battery, hall based analog sticks with RGB lighting, dual 6 axis gyroscope built in, dual 1 watt stereo speakers, Wi Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3. They've got two different color options, white and black, and as far as I can tell right now, they haven't announced the weight on this unit. It's not completely finalized, so, uh, you know, in a few weeks, hopefully, we'll get some more information about that. They've also posted a lot of great information over in their development Q&A on the Manjaro forum. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Some awesome information over here. SSDs definitely going to be upgraded. I mean, with most of these, they are. We've got that 7840U and the 8840U coming in at $599 for the 8840U, which is actually a really good deal when you consider what we've got going on here. And you compare it to other handhelds on the market with similar or even lower specs. 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD. Also gives us a rundown on all of the buttons. Love to see those trackpads up front. But I'm really excited to get my hands on the operating system itself. Uh, hopefully it is released kind of just as a package or an image. That way we could kind of try it on other devices. They've also implemented full TDP control for this 7840U and the 8840U using Open Gamepad UI. Probably not the final look, but uh, if it is, I'll be totally fine with it as long as I can get some really awesome gaming out of the way on this device. A few other things, lots of questions down here, but I expect a little more information before this thing officially launches until we can actually either pre-order it or go ahead and buy one. 
But yeah, I kind of wanted to make this video just to give you an update on this. This is something I'm really excited about, seeing another Linux-powered handheld hit the market using one of my favorite operating systems, Manjaro. As you know, we've taken a look at a lot of mini PCs over here on the channel, and right now I'm actually running Manjaro on one of my favorites, the EM780, 32 gigs of RAM, Ryzen 7 7840U, super small form factor, Great little Linux machine, especially with Manjaro installed. Using the Plasma desktop, we've got plenty of power to go ahead and get through all of the animations and everything like that. But again, just wanted to make this quick video. I will keep everybody posted in the community section, so definitely keep an eye out. I want to get my hands on one of these. I'd love to get the 8840U version, but you know, if it comes down to it and I can only get that 7840U version, I'd be more than happy to test it out. But before we wrap this up, I'm interested in your thoughts, so let me know in the comments below. I mean, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD, and an 8840U coming in at $599, or the 7840U at $499. Let me know if this is something you're going to be picking up, if you can get your hands on it in the U.S. Are you going to skip it all together, wait for something else? And what features would you like to see on the Orange Pi Neo Zero One? Let us know in the comments. Like always, thanks for watching.